Well, good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Let's put 2022 behind us. Hey, John, good morning to you. Aaron, P.S., Mike, Siku, how you guys doing? Hey, J.W., how's things going there? Ed, good morning to everybody. Good morning. Okay, so um, here we are this morning. Um, I only wrote really two notes to myself uh, this morning. Uh, I, I went all weekend and never even turned my computer on. One time to Google something, but uh, out, outside of that, I took the whole uh, New Year's holiday off. And um, two things I wrote down this morning, and I wrote a daily to weekly chart, still bearish. It is. Uh, let's, let's go to this chart right here. And let's go to the daily. And you can see that the trend indicator is still red. T-line's underneath the trend indicator. Let's look at the weekly chart. chart. Trend indicator is red. Uh, trend indicator is under, or T-line's under the trend indicator. Plus the weekly chart, you can see this just massive down here, downtrend here. So, right, I mean, any kind of swing trades, and I don't personally look at intraday trading as swing trading. That's, I mean, I realize you're swinging intraday from one point to another point. Um, but to me, that's just intraday or scalping. I look at swing trading starting with a daily chart. And if I look at this now, um, th there's certainly, there's certainly uh, some bullish swing trades that had to be had out there. That's for sure. There really are. Uh, but overall, the power, the power is with the market and the direction the market is going. Uh, and, and again, it doesn't mean that that there's not long trades out there. There are. We'll get a couple of them here this morning, I'm sure. Look at them. But overall, the power is to the downside. Um, let's go back over here. Right now, for daily swing trades, what I'm looking for is my toolbar. There we go. Uh, daily swing trades. And, and when I say daily swing trades, I don't mean today. Today, we're going to swing to 295.50. That's not what I mean. That's what I'm looking at as possible targets for a swing trade off the daily chart. And then to the downside, I see 365. Now, I know, I know there's probably people here, hey, just tell me the damn direction. Just tell me what's going to happen here. The problem is we're, we're in a spot right now where that's very hard to do. Um, you've got a crazy amount of of um, price action resistance about 291, well, 391.40 up here. You've got the 50 period moving average right here. We've got a little bit of support oh, at this uh, 275.75 area. It's very hard to, do, to say, well, what direction are we going to go? Well, right now, I think there's still a day or two of the so-called Santa Claus rally that's out there. Uh, Santa effect, um, that's that's still there. So we could certainly see some rise to the upside, and we could even do something where uh, we rise a little bit. Bulls maybe get a little bit excited, a little bit bigger for their britches than they should be, and they try to rise up here. But overall, in the big picture, I do think we go a little bit lower. Um, like I said, we, we could, the, the relief rally is possible. Um, certainly not going to rule that out. And in, in fact, I would, I would love that personally, but I'm afraid that we're going to run into some resistance after the whole, you know, the whole, uh, Santa effect is over. And then, and then we're going to have to deal with some of these lows here, 375, um, 75, and then 365, 15 here. This is one of the swing areas that I see based on the daily chart. And then we've got the 2002 lows. Can you believe we're saying that? 2002 lows. Crazy. Um, and we'll worry about that if that happens. But uh, that's, you know, I think a little caution today. Uh, when you think about it, the market has just had a ton of time off. The market is looking at a brand new year. There could be, you know, all kinds of things rattling around in the market's brain right now. Um, and it could be trying new things here. Um, may not be the best 
for some and other people it's going to be fantastic so i think things like um if you are well it doesn't matter uh, if you can trade the inverse etfs things like sqqq has just been a winner for so many people um something i like to see um well you know any trader that's been around for a time you've got you've got uh different tools in your toolbox to do different things you've got uh, uh plumbing tools you've got uh, automotive mechanical tools you've got carpentry tools uh you, you've got all kinds of tools uh in in your it's like a fisherman you know uh, i'm a fly fisherman so i mean i've got goodles and goodles of flies doesn't mean i use them all the time don't uh, but i've i've got goodles and goodles of flies different flies and and lines and you guys know what i mean so different scenarios different chart setups you're going to use different you know different techniques one technique that i like and i see it in this chart right here is when a slower moving average crosses or a faster moving average crosses over a slower moving average and actually that's a very popular technique um, when you get that moving average crossover one thing it will do is it will keep you from picking a bottom because you have to wait till we cross over well here we've crossed over the 50 period moving average and now we're pulling back this this is one strategy that's that's super super good uh, very easy to spot very clean um, we'll talk we can talk about an entry later we're not going to do that now um, but the, the SQQ here, the inverse ETFs, um, SH, uh, if you, you know, if you are pro bearish or you're, you're leaning to the bearish side, but yet you have, and I talked to tons and tons of people that this happens to, um, they're, they're afraid to short. They don't short. They don't understand shorting. Their account doesn't allow them to short things like that. This is a perfect answer right here is the uh, inverse ETF um, but uh, and, that, and that's what we have these are bullish charts these are very bullish charts when we see that lift we're over the 50 period moving average we pull back and do the test there um, here's a chart that I'm kind of watching to the long side I kind of like GE um, not interested in necessarily buying it today in fact I'm pretty confident um, well, I shouldn't say that. You never know what might happen to it. Um, but that certainly might be one. I know that uh, Tesla is is big on everybody's list. And uh, right now, I've got Tesla. I'm willing to trade it both ways. And that's what I'm going to look for over the next couple of days, uh, both directions. And to the upside, possible targets 128 and change 136 and change 146 and change up there uh, as possible uh, targets and then uh, I'm going to short it to the downside so Tesla has some real potential um, Meta also I think has some pit potential both up and down and so we'll be watching Meta um, let's see Thomas you're posting out AMD um, a AMD has potential in any you know any direction. I, I think I th I think what we have to realize, um, you know, you know, you can pick one chart. It doesn't matter, um, and trade it the entire year if you wanted, uh, and just swing it. You guys all know that, right? Just wait for that setup. AMD is one of those that I would absolutely consider as look i'm only going to trade amd for the rest of the year that's it but i'm only going to wait for the setup so i look at this chart and i just don't see the setup and that doesn't mean it's there for not there for somebody okay um for me it's not there so what i'm going to need to see is the bulls step in a little more and one could argue that they've certainly stepped in right here and i'm i'm going to totally agree to that uh, I just don't think they've stepped in enough because the chart pattern for me is not there. But it's definitely one to keep on that, uh, that watch this there, Thomas. Um, like I say, this is one of those charts a person could just, um, you could just make a statement right now. This is the only chart that I'm going to trade this year. I am not making that statement, folks. I'm not saying that. 
I'm just saying you could. Just wait for the setup. Just wait for that setup. Good morning, Sean. How are you? Um, you're pointing out XBI. Yeah, look at XBI here. Nice consult. See, this could be a setup I could get into here. I, I could get into this. Let's, let's do this. Watch this. Let's, uh, let's, let's take this bottom right here. Multiple touches. These are lows and then multiple touches. Those are higher lows. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so now here we are, a morning star. Here we're starting to lift up. I think once we get a pro across whatever that line, the amount, I don't, I can't get price with this tool I'm using. When we get through these highs, that's a great looking trade. And even if we come back a little bit and test, watch the breakout. Not a bad chart. Not bad at all. Uh, TLT. TLT might be trying to straighten itself up today. That definitely might be. Uh, if we end up bullish like the, with a candle like this today on TLT, I could see that as an absolute buy. I don't particularly want to chase. I would, rather, I would rather the candle be established and then maybe trade on positive, trading above it. Basically, I want to trade the trend. If, you don't, if somebody here doesn't understand what the trend is, or you don't know what trend uh, to look at, there's one for you right there. This one's uh, perfect. Um, when you've got the trend indicator, green dots, this is a bullish trend, and the T-line is above it, there's you a trend. If you're, this is a bearish trend, where the dots are red and the T-line is below it, there's a bearish trend. So as you can see, TLT is still in a bearish trend. So I guess what I'm saying is, is, uh, you, you know, there, there's a strategy, and, and every person I think has to just jump onto whatever strategy you want, um, and make it the best. Uh, here's this. This is the first, my first comments of the new year. So let, let's talk about this just a little bit, okay? Um, we can we can run around, and I'm trying to get this right. There we go. We can run around and look at literally through a an entire year a million charts uh and look at all the different everything about it um the the better traders only have a couple strategies guys gals i talk to a lot of traders throughout the year i've talked to a lot of traders over the years and what, there's several things that, that really good traders have in common. And there's several things that struggling traders have in common. One thing that really good traders have in common is they don't chase every cat running down the street. They, they really don't. They focus on just a couple of things. They don't try to focus on this entire cat. They, they really don't. Um, they focus on a couple of things. So... Hey, look, if you want to focus on, if somebody wants to focus, not you as any, anybody here, but if you want to focus on, say, picking price action bottoms and catching that big old move, price action bottoms, price action tops, price action tops. And we know that in that TLT, T, TLT it has a pretty nice candle this morning, pre-market. So let's go ahead and call that a, a bottom here or a price action bottom for now and if that's your you know if that's your thing be the best at it then do it then do it be the best at it find out everything you can about it learn about it take a month off and only look at those take two months off take a quarter off only focus on picking the bottoms and tops if that's you know the the price action bottoms and tops if that's what you want to do or you let the trend prove itself and then trade within the trend. And, I, you know, I'm not saying that that's any better. I'm not. What I'm saying is focus on one or two setups. Um, the next question that I get when I always say something like that at a webinar is, well, what are the two best <laughs> setups? <laughs> and, you know, the best setups are, are what you do with them, not, not what Alpha does or... Sean or myself, um, 
I, you know, the setups are what you do with them. So anyway, I, I hope that made some sense to everybody. What time is it? I get another couple minutes. Let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, no sound, Rick. No sound. Well, shoot. All right. Well, that's okay. I probably should wrap this up for the day anyway, and there, or for the morning, and then we'll get back here. Uh, sound is good. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. It does look like we're lifting off the T-line a little bit. I would be seriously cautious around that 50-period moving average, especially over the next couple of days, because it could act like the bulls want to just uh, grow wings and fly, and that might be that Santa effect still in play so let's be a little cautious remember to take profits protect your law protect your profits and keep your losses small okay hey take care everybody we'll see you back here in about uh, 25 minutes okay thank you so much